All set to play. Single elimination. Winner gets Santa Cruz tomorrow night. We are underway at the wide world of sports. We're here. Let's just go win the whole darn thing now at this point. Whatever it takes. Oh, and a nice float job by Kareem Monet gets us on the board. Two to nothing for the Magic. Stan Heath says as he develops his shooting, his his decision making, he's going to be a real threat to this team. Get more minutes. Easy glide off the left wing, and Jalen Adams is into the book for the first time. That goes up top. Monet quickly to the big fella. On the dribble drive, they'll throw the skip pass, and a three from straight away is good. Not bad for John Teskia. See, now, how are you going to do that to me? You know I'm a Coastal Carolina grad, and you know Liberty beat us in football. I'm not trying to You're throw any me, shade dog. here on the shot that clears. Mm -hmm, yeah, you are. Great second <laughs> effort, and Robert Franks. So much like one of the emotional leaders on this team. Love to his energy on defense. He just got that wide stance and goes after the ball. Got a great nose for it. As of late November with the rebound. Nice dish. Oh, that's too easy. John Teske with the flush. Get a difference in the sense of regular season of playoffs now, right? I mean, the defensive effort, the intensity early on is there. And that's two okay. threes now for John Teske here. Calling out defensive assignments, pointing. Those are the little things that coaches see in situations like this. Not only your quality minutes, but what are you doing in addition to that? Oh, 240-something left, and they somehow won the ball game. <laughs> I love what head coach Ryan Pannone had to say. He said, the G League is a few league where a 20-point lead is never safe. Magic are four of six now from three-point range, building a monster lead here. Marshall answers off the right sideline. Largest lead so far for Lakeland, and it gets bigger. Back-to-back -back threes now by Campbell. Great start for Lakeland. They are bombs away from the outside, leading 25-10. And uh, speaking of threes, there is the sixth one now of the opening quarter. You guys getting the best shot. We talked about balanced scoring. Now six guys have, on this team have had a, at least a 20-point game. Campbell Ooh. again. <laughs> it's his third of the period. Come on. Antonio Campbell. Yeah, he's brought in as a 4-5, or five, but he loves to shoot that Damian Lillard and Steph Curry the All-Star game, just trying to scoot back a little further each time. Andrew Rousey will dial it up, angle left, and he's oh. good for a triple as well. And then getting the follow-up in. The Rousey put 43 on the board <laughs> for a Lakeland franchise record. Rousey out of the corner, yes. And that's why he's here. <laughs> and I can understand, you don't see him as, you know, being a three-point threat, being an absolute offensive weapon, but yeah, then he goes and drops 35 or 40 on you. Here's Wayne and Gabriel with a nice take. Can't connect, but nothing going below the free throw line now for the Magic, and why not? Because they're shooting from 25 feet out. Yeah, when you're on fire like this, you got to just keep it rolling. Yeah, he's somebody that just, he stands out when you watch these games. And coming from the OVC, you know, probably didn't get a whole lot of recognition, but he's got all the fundamentals to him. And there's Ho keeping the play alive for another three. You have to look at Lakeland's defensive numbers during that stretch. And that's bearing out so far here in the first half to go along with the unreal shot making. As finally something goes in, it's Jordan Bell on the finish for the Bayhawks. They also were number two in the G League and points in the paint allowed. Campbell this time working inside. Oh, the right hook standing. Wow. They do have that traditional backup game with guys like Antonio Campbell and Stan Heath coming from the program at USF. He, that is a place that built bigs. Little Hofstra pride love there. 24-point game. It feels uh, worse than that as Campbell buries his fifth three-pointer of the first half. Campbell came to ball tonight. He's not missed a three. He's perfect five of five. Nice finish again, Justin Wright Foreman. So 47-22 just underway here in the second. Hogue on the drive. Tight corner and a dump off to Campbell with a silky mitts. He finishes again. They'll run two at him. And a fumble on the attempted dive cut. And the Bayhawks come away with it. Well, two on one. We'll see if he keeps. Yes, Jalen Adams will finish. He tried that Great earlier finish. in traffic. Yeah. Stan Heath knows his game, knows him as you know, young man and, and now a man. So we've seen him grow up. And that's a that's you know, different types of conversations you can have knowing somebody for that long. I think you just get the sense that they're finding shots that work for them. They gotta be rough and tough. I think the outside shot maybe not falling. So go back to the basics. Drive, see if you can create off the bounce. Nice Rousey stage. with a good shot selection. 
Off the drive and kick, Allen. You know, sore wrists, sore legs, he's just been beat up, but he's gotten his body ready to play tonight. Little float job down for Billy Garrett. Rousey for the triple, well short. And tracked down by Holmesley. What an outlet pass and an easy flush for Justin Wright Foreman. Last time these two teams met, it was Lakeland who was down 25 and came all the way back. Tonight, Erie trying to make the comeback. Nice pass. Beautiful finish as well for Jalen Adams. A couple of their principals back in now, including Testy, who started off this three-point barrage. Kennedy out of the corner for another triple. And it was the extra pass that led to the rhythm shot. The Magic are seeing hockey assists now. Two passes ahead. That's a great read. Fire. And those, you know, those types of passes make you want to give more assists to your teammates. And then there's Wright Foreman. Again, reading the screen correctly. You know, what Coach Pannone wants to see is the flow. He wants to see what off the ball, where players are moving. moving. And we continue to see a barrage of threes. Magic are, I mean, they're just spreading the love everywhere. Spellman trying to answer. It does. Garrett, Garrett turned the mid -range. corner. You're not going to see him hitting threes. You're going to see him doing that, driving dish. Oh, Teske. I like his second and third effort. He's he's a lot quicker than what I remember him to be in college and getting after that second and third chance rebound. Spellman again, same spot, same Ooh. result. Marshall's a guy that's got to get going here for Erie. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And so does Utah. He's got no points here in this first quarter. Oh, my goodness, right, Foreman. That's a man move right there. Well, Marshall's going to attempt to hit this nice fadeaway, but nobody boxes out 30. Turned it on. He said, oh, boy, this is going to be a rough one. I, I think Erie's going to fool around and give us a good one here. Oh, Robert Frank barely avoiding a travel. Kennedy will reset out up top with Garrett. Down the right slot, feeding from underneath. Kennedy wide open from three, drops it in. Just too much space to operate. And it's easy for the Magic to get the passing they want because they're not getting pressured at all. Campbell off the spin with the nice finish. Nice move. The Lakeland Magic are on pace here for a 150 with under a minute to play in the half as Utah finally becomes a little unselfish to bury the mid-range jumper. Going the other way, but Utah's got to take more shots, period. Here it gives it up. Yep, it's just and a matter of time. Another three this time for Robert Franks. I mean, your jaw drops when you see that because we've seen two point blank misses to start this third quarter for Erie. And Monet gets into the game. For Orlando to jump all over that. Or Lakeland, excuse me, but Spellman's got to hit those, those buckets and he makes up for it. Now you need to see just that toughness and starting to play angry for the Bayhawks. Deep in the shot clock. Teske, turn around. Jumper's good. I've heard from, from coaches that they. There's encouraging the players to be able to understand and, and get clarity on fouls. But there's that fine line, right? Spellman with a little intimidation. His 95 career NBA games with Atlanta and with Golden State. Nice cut. Utah able to finish up close. Two to shoot. Hope contested three won't go. That's the weak side rebound for Omari Spellman. Utah dials it up and rinsed it. I like the little Finally, twist in Utah. his shot. Getting involved in this game. Great hustle. Adams able to finish off the steal. There's the hustle play. That's what you need if you're Coach Ryan Pinnell. Safar, 82 to 59 as we resume play at the HP Fieldhouse. At the bubble. Here's Garrett. Drops it in. Broad. And unable to connect is Justin Wright Foreman. And an easy run out here and a lay-in for Billy Garrett. Celebration today. Drive and kick. And attacking the basket, uncontested. Two-hand flush for Taj McCall. He is a high-energy, big-time player. And Sam Heath is big on him. And says you're not going to have a better perimeter defender in the bubble. And so both front offices had to kind of get to work. How are we going to blend this? So, you know, I don't want to say you get the best of two, but... That is somewhat the case as Rousey picks it up with the two off the left wing. All through college as well, it just it's it's forced a lot of new ways of thought with coaches and teams. So I just uh, you know, admire everybody's ability to do that. And that's understanding a scouting report. 
You talk oh, to yeah. GMs around the G League as Rousey remains hot. Come on, and Rousey. Really? Which officiating did you like to disagree with most? <laughs> basketball, tennis, or softball? Well, Gabriel for sure basketball finish. because, you know, they you can't get a technical in softball or tennis. Good at, we've seen him shoot the ball. We've seen him lead breaks here and there. But his defense, forget he's got that wingspan and that reach. Seven blocks coming into the game for Franks. That was a big one there. Ooh, up the ladder to get it. McCall with a look off. Scoop and a score. How in the world? He created that move on the fly. I think he just winked at me for saying that his offensive <laughs> game needed a little work <laughs> earlier. He's like, I got your work right here. Pick the pocket, run out, lay in, changing hands, mid-flight. Nice finish by Jeff Doughton. Party cannot connect, but tracks down his own miss. Winston driving kick. Marshall will give it a go. And he drains it off the right side. Andrew Rousey. Can't get that Marquette love at the free throw line. And then how about that? When you're challenging, you also get a stop. Win, win, win. Shot clock is dart. Utah for three. Good. It's 9.7, a little full court pressure. And a turnover. Off the right side at the horn. Yes, indeed. And not even the horn. So quick, there's still 6.9 left. Or visit the NBA G League app. Rousey. At the break right side. Starts the fourth quarter. Lakeland. Utah trying to send it in. Marshall. Throws it out of traffic. Open look. Got it. About, oh, I don't know, a week or two after he arrived, he dumped 43 on an opponent for a franchise record. And they said, well, I guess we got something here in Rousey. Yeah, I guess he'll stay. And for Rousey, it's, it's kind of everything. Called him a ball of fire. And that's exactly how he plays. Off the bell, steal. Missed three, but Bell under the rim went right to the cup to finish. Second chance bucket for Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell's a guy we have not talked about a whole lot in this game. You know, he hasn't had much of a presence, just his first two points, but his approach, how unselfish he plays. He can defend one through five. Well, if we were down there, I, I'd be wanting a game big time. I love ping pong. Nice, nice slip. Move. And off the catch, it's Franks to stuff it. Into the corner for Holmesley. A nice drive through two. Skip pass to Bell. Good ball movement. Utah out of the corner. Got it. The triple falls in to make it 118-87. Why not get involved more in the first half? And it was interesting to hear Coach Ryan Pannone tell us about Utah that basically he's the lowest usage rate on the team. Jared's also got seven rebounds and a strip here in the paint. A leaking run out to Bell, and he drops it in with a two-hand dunk. Bell was shooting, what, north of 70% from the field during his run here in Orlando. That's a gaudy number. He leads the not too bad. G League in field goal percentage. <laughs> Wing right three, dropped in Marlon Taylor. Garrett back in. Okay, and Garrett, I see you with your long range. This is his first run with the Bayhawks here, and it comes in game one of the postseason. Garrett at the broken line. Off the 360. Yes, indeed. Could get them a pop in the jaw, but, you know, to each his own. Uh, hits a mitts. he would be all right. Garrett beats the shot clock. Under four to play. Yeah, he is efficient with his footwork. And it's fun to watch him defend that way as well because he avoids contact a lot. Meanwhile, on offense, he draws contact. We talk about G League success stories. Utah, a 27-year-old who just never got the chance. Hasn't needed to be one tonight with eight points and getting help from the big guys, like you said. It's, it's been them that kind of started off, but he's definitely the X factor. Perhaps there's there's some kind of bird that's unique to the Birmingham area. Perhaps. I mean, I, I've enjoyed a lot of the nicknames here. I mean, red, red coats, you just seeing all kinds of cool dif differentiation. Last week, I guess it was, and it came up. So what exactly is a Bayhawk? It's yeah. kind of the local name there for an Osprey. I think their defense, Brooke, was fueled by making shots, and they've had a really solid all-around performance. Wow. Here's Hogue for three. Talked about the balance scoring. Six have had a 20-point game. Well, how about nine guys shooting a three tonight? Three with 17 and one with 25 points in Campbell. A little extra on the clock. Into Marshall. <laughs> Taylor for three. That's it.